usually on our work days we don't spend this much time outside we just sit down and work but because we are making this video and we so wanted to show you how we live how we travel um, when we are not actually making vlogs so we are taking you to all our favorite places We don't have a kettle, so we are just boiling up the water on any vessel we can find. We are gaining a lot of weight and uh, we are eating, like most of the time, very oily, unhealthy food. So we decided that um, we'll skip one meal. I think we talked about this in Malaysia as well. Yeah, so we are still skipping one meal, but this is like very standard. But for now we are eating mostly with yeah. some milk uh, and fruits. And dates. So after our breakfast we will work for maybe a couple of hours, two to three hours and then we are going to go have lunch. So at the moment I am working on our cost, our expenses in Turkey and um, what are you working on? So I'm not so much inspired today to create something so all I'm doing right now is um, writing some Google reviews for all the places we've been to in Kuala Lumpur and um, uh, Kapas. I hope you have watched those videos and I think Kapas is my favorite island so if you haven't watched that video I'll put a link in the description below and over here. And now it's time to do some laundry. One of the things that we love about this, this lifestyle is that we don't have to waste time on mundane things that you have to do having like a rented house or a of your own house. Okay, let's go for lunch. I'm hungry. Babe. Before we go to our lunch, uh, let us give you a quick tour to our accommodation. This is how a typical Turkish household looks like. Or oh, this is our best case. <laughs> so this is sort of a hallway. Then this area is sort of your living room. Um, this is converted into like additional bedding. Now we have got two bedrooms. This is kind of a master bedroom. Um, it has two single beds and one just a casual bed. And this is another room. Um, it's got single bed and it's got a balcony as well. Moving on to the upstairs. I think he has renovated this house because the building looks a bit old but it's really in a good condition. So the upstairs is where you usually can hang out. It's got like a sofa and kitchen and another big ass balcony. Now this balcony, oh my god, it's the biggest of all the accommodation that we have lived and the view. We, you can see the whole European side from this balcony. This is where we have our Michigan. coffee in the morning and this is where we can enjoy beautiful sunsets. So we live in an area of Istanbul where uh, you don't see many tourists. And what we realize, when we go to a touristy place, uh, they always charge more for everything. But because we are uh, living in residential area, all the prices for the food or grocery is very reasonable. And one thing we notice, Turkish people, they are very animal friendly. So every now and then on the streets, you will see they are feeding uh, cats, stray cats and stray dogs. They also place uh, food and water out in the street for uh, stray cats. Look for Borek. 
which basically we think means um, bakery. It's got some delicious pastries and vegetarian options. So we are going to try our favorite um, scones. This is where we usually come for our lunch. We usually eat our lunch around 3 o'clock or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I don't know, something happened between Malaysia and Turkey that we get very hungry uh, at 3 o'clock. And then we skip dinner because we don't feel like eating it. And this is our favorite place to buy baklava. It says it's been since 1944. And it's cheaper than all the other sweet shops that we've been to actually yeah and the shopkeeper is really sweet <laughs> that's a bonus ah, ah, ah. Ah. Watch out. so Turkish people are just so nice and we have said that repeatedly, you have to come here and experience them. I'm so glad to leave this country behind. I'm so glad. Oh, I'm so sad to leave this country <laughs> behind. Sorry. So if you want to try a very local Turkish food, you should be looking for Lokantashi restaurant where you can find some vegetarian options as well. And on top of that, there are some lentil soup chicken soup and yeah there is a different kind of um, curries and everything it's and like your mom or grandmom is making for you it's yeah very homemade and delicious and now we are at the very local shop where they make breads And this bread that we got from, I don't know what to say, is it bakery? It's not bakery. It's like a bread shop. Uh, we're gonna eat with our Lokan Tashi food. Sagar and I are big on biscuits. So we usually have biscuits in the morning. So we are gonna get some from this local shop. If you come to Istanbul, please have this. It's like lassi or chash um, and it's delicious. Today we bought um, soup, um, some kind of a curry mm -hmm. from Lokantashi, um, some sweets, some breads and we at the end we went to our um, grocery store and we bought a um, couple of biscuits and a tissue paper mm. oh and this traditional drink of turkey i don't know all of istanbul mm. and that all cost only around 11 usd and everything is so delicious seriously it is oily i'll say that but it's delicious mm. And now we work. And now I'm working on um, our travel day from Kuala Lumpur to Kapas Island. But after lunch, I'm feeling very sleepy. I'm making coffee for us, don't worry. Ah, thanks. Hmm, but yeah. Continuous editing is not easy. We should hire someone, babe. Tell you that to. Papa Jo Azu Mange. After working for a few hours, we're gonna go out and catch a sunset. And you cannot miss sunset in Istanbul because it's beautiful.